Hi, I'm David Andrews from Ohio State University, and no, I'm not the tennis coach, and it is a little breezy out here for tennis today, but we're not here to talk about tennis. We're here to talk about building relationships and the role of communication in building those relationships. You can use a tennis ball for a good analogy because communication is like tossing a ball back and forth. Easy communication means one minute you're sending the message, the next minute you're receiving the message. So easy communication flows back and forth. And it's good to learn about someone and build a relationship on easy messages, tennis ball messages. The consequences of dropping a tennis ball are not severe. Nothing happens really. You pick it up, you start over again. But if you start a conversation with a very difficult message, what I call a slippery egg message, then you've got a challenge. Because you don't know how well someone can receive a message that's difficult. You don't know how they're going to deliver that message. So you need to learn how people send and receive messages, and you need to develop message uh, relationships with tennis ball messages, not slippery egg messages. And the analogy can go on because if you start off a coaching conversation with a very difficult challenge, if you start a conversation pointing out the most difficult things that a teacher or a principal needs to accomplish, it's going to be very difficult for them to receive that information. That would be a slippery egg message. But if you start off the conversation with some easy to throw and easy to catch messages back and forth, you build a rapport with that person, it's much, much easier to later on get to that very difficult and challenging slippery egg message. Sooner or later, you're going to have to get to the challenging conversations. But if you start with the tennis ball messages, it's a lot easier to get there. So, start with those tennis ball messages and great coaching.